passion joy is about I was lost but now I'm Well, the trainer of well, the Golden Rose favourite for 2012, Nachita. John Thompson joins us at track work. And John, can you fault this filly in any way going towards the weekend? Uh, not thus far. Um, uh, she's pulled up good from her last run. Uh, she's done very well. Um, her work this morning was great. Uh, she seems to be spot on. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, that continues until Saturday. What do you ask of her on the track on a Tuesday morning? Um, she just worked over 1,200 metres this morning and, and, you know, worked up the last 600. But, um, you know, she's uh, a filly that doesn't take a great deal of work. But, um, you know, in saying that, you know, she st still probably runs nearly the fastest times of the morning, you know, um, without letting her go. So um, she sort of keeps herself pretty trim. A bit freakish, isn't she? She has that, has that turn of foot that only really the good ones seem to have. Yeah, she's um, you know very casual with with her work, but um, you know you watch her work and you think, oh, you know probably could have done a little bit more. But then when you look at your watch, uh, it tells a different story. So um, you know it's it's yeah, it's a pleasure to have. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we talk about the weekend's race, the Golden Rose, big group, one million dollar race. They don't give them away. I suppose you have to be pretty mind, mindful and wary of tactics and things like pace in a race can bring good horses undone. Uh, very much so. You know, she's definitely not over the line. Uh, you know, there's some good colts there on Saturday. And, um, you know, luck in running always takes a part. But, you know, she's a, you know, pretty tractable filly. You know, she could be up the front, up the back. I don't think it would really matter. But, um, you know, the barrier draw, you know, probably tells us where we're going to be in the run. But, um, you know, it's, it's, she's ticked all boxes going into the race. So, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how she measures up against the colts. Theo Mark Stakes, John, and uh, Levi's, Levi's Choice is your nomination. We want to send the best of Levi, Levi's for a while. He's just won the one race, but on his day, capable? Yeah, look, he's been plagued with injuries. Um, he actually tore a muscle um, after his first up run there, and he's missed a little bit of work, but he's well back on track now. And, um, you know, he, I dare say he'll probably take the run on Saturday, but, um, you know, he's back on track, feeling well, and, um, you know, in a run or two's time, he'll be, be back near the, near the front. In the Kingston Town Stakes, you've known Malls Creek. He's been going around in your, your Chelmsfords, your, your Warwick Stakes. He gets up to his right trip for the weekend in a handicap. Yeah, well, we've seen the difference that made with um, Tagus last week. You know, a couple of runs in weight for age, come back to a handicap, drop in weight. And, um, you know, he's two the four. And, um, and Malls Creek's been very much the same. His, his two runs have been terrific. And, um, you know, he's, he's come through Saturday's run very well and um, more than likely take his place. And the Rod Shirako stakes a, a big task taking on more Joyce, but you have pain in the glass and potions. Let's touch on potions for a start. She generally runs a pretty big race early in the prep. Yeah, look, she's a she's an older man now, going well, um, and and so is pain in the glass. Both horses have, have trialled well, and their run, uh, pain in the glass first up run was was great. Um, you know, but we're probably all running for second place there. But uh, they both our mares are going well. Well, John, good luck for the weekend. The cheetah, she's so exciting. She gets gets us to the races, and I'll say for uh, Pat Nack Farm and you guys, she can sweep home and get the job done for the weekend. Yeah, it's very exciting. Good luck. Thank you.